Next, we have Laura. How can we approach reforest in an area with perhaps some selection of species, but not total design? Uh, kind of like patterning 50-50 or 25-75 with natural process of reforestation. Self-replicating systems sound essential in the reforesting of larger land spaces that have been degraded, especially on a limited budget and or work force. Um, we have both old growth, oak forest, and also areas in various stages of reforestation after it's been abandoned. Okay, Laura, you can do that. This is a pretty wild section here. We're in a swale and I've got some uh, high vis tape because I'm gonna raise the height of our swale banks in a swale workshop soon. But just over here, we have native regrowth with <laughs> novel, <laughs> non-natives and natives mixed together um, and combinations. And that's how the landscape in this part of Australia regens. But right here, um, here there's a red cedar that I've planted, which was the old growth tree that was first logged in this area. I've planted over 300. Behind it is a silky oak, which I've planted, which is a great light demanding rainforest tree. Um, there's quite a few different regen trees here regeneration trees. And then as we go along, bear with me, we go down the swale, we've got ice cream bean, and then we've got another red cedar here. Um, and another one, there's a couple there, but just behind the jackfruit. And then over here, we have a huge climbing yam going up an ice cream bean. But next to that's a bunya pine, which is a native tree here and then right next to it is a blue quandong Eliocarpus grandis one of the great rainforest trees of the area so what we have here is a real blend and there's there's a uh, a foam bark which was already here um next to a really old stump um and, and that was already here when we put the earthworks in and then as we go along we've got galangal on the ground um We've got a, a bush lemon citrus. We've got another bunya pine. And we've got all kinds of assemblies going through here. Pretty wild, pretty wild stuff. There's a whalebone tree hanging over the swale here. I've got a clear. This is a wild section of, of Zaytuna Farm swale food forest assembly. I reckon it's doing lovely, actually. I love it. It's got a kind of wild look and it's got a, a kind of understory window. Climb up this way, cameraman. We'll go this way. Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, there are areas here with the bamboo giving leaf litter that makes it sort of clear around. Um, there's a big, a big whalebone here, which is a, a native tree. And there's another one snapped over with a giant vine on it. Um, I can see another bunya pine. And uh, there's a really wild assembly here. I could just start discovering new things myself, I think. Right, but it, it's not been attended to much. It's just that part of the farm, but it's still doing its thing. There's a Brazil cherry, another citrus. Um, combinations, they work fine. There's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a novel ecosystem. As long as you select the assemblies, <coughs> even having a little bit of allelopathy of the leaf fall of the bamboo gives you an edge, allelopathy to fertile ground edge. It's all about little bits of edges. Nature will take up its gap. You will still get areas that you could maintain a bit more to get a bit more production, opening up to light. Um, it's entirely up to you. Nature has no prejudice. It's a fine thing.